I've converted my mill to belt drive. It did have a nasty noisy gearing system here. It's now got a stepped pulley and a belt to give two speeds which adjusts by pulling the motor forward on this quadrant here. Uh, I've just temporarily wired mains into the controller so I can try it. Uh, I'll try it on this speed then we'll give it a go on the other. I have connected up an earth even though everything's just hanging free. Every man's his own safety officer and all that. There we go. It's a lot quieter than it was with the gears. That's a slower speed. Right, I'll turn it to the higher speed. It's just a matter of slacking off this Allen key here. Pull the motor forward. Drop it onto the other onto the other pulley. Put on sufficient tension. Tighten the Allen key. Doing all this whilst holding a camera in one hand. Can't be bad. Nip that up. Power back on there. And Oh no, that's the lower speed. Of course, that small cog driving big cog. That's the low speed. The previous one was the high speed. You'll have to forgive me being a complete idiot. So that'll be nice for... There, yeah, we're at 90 on the speed control. And that's nice and slow for doing bigger, heavier cuts. Quite pleased with that. And a lot quieter than it was. Hopefully there'll be less vibration and less chatter as well. Also tightened up the bearings. This um, spindle had a tiny bit of up and down play because the instructions on the internet said you tighten the, the nut under there onto the bearings, get it tight and then back it off quarter of a turn which to my mind was backing it off too much and you got a tiny bit of play. I just nipped it up just enough to stop it going tick 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 and Anyhow, we'll see how it goes.